Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes we, when we want to adjust something, we select it, we create a mask, uh, and uh, we're, we're off we go, we're happy, but then we go, well, we'd like to select something else. So the question is, how do you extend a mask? You can always do it by painting, but sometimes it's nice to do it by selection. So this is what we're going to do. So here we are. Let's get the selection brush up here. Right square bracket to make it uh, big enough. So we're going to paint around this flower. There we go. And then we will... Let's just say put a curves on this. So select here, click on curves. It automatically takes the selection to make a... Um, the mask on here and then we can play with the curves maybe just want to darken it down a little bit so or maybe just do an S curve to build put a bit more contrast in let's say that that'll do whatever we want to do that's not the important bit here the important bit is how do we now add this so if I control D I've got rid of the selection somewhere along the way but now I want to extend this mask because if I alt click this See, I've just got the white bit here. This is the only bit that's selected. So the curves are only going to affect this bit. And what I do is I go back to this one over here. So I could paint on the mask, but I want to do it by selection. So I'll get to a selection brush again. And now I'm going to paint on the area I want to add. So I'll do this here. This in here, oh, and we can play around with this just to quickly do, for example, some of these other bits to show that when you've got lots of bits, you can still do this. <clears throat> so there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Alt click on the curves. So now we can see I've got the original bit I selected and turned into a mask. But what about these bits? I want to add them to the mask. Very, very simply, all I do is go to the Flood Fill tool, make sure that's white, which it is there, and I click inside one of the selections here, and look what happens. All of them get selected, so I get white in all of them, so I don't have to go around painting white into everything. Control D gets rid of my marquee, the marching ants. So when I click back up on here, now my effects are going to be applied everywhere. Let's have a look at that again. Let's bring up the curves. So if I adjust this, there you go, see? Everything is selected, everything's in the mask. So I've extended my mask very, very simply to include new things by, by using selection rather than having to paint black directly onto the mask to get it this scene. Anyway, there we go. So I hope you like that and uh, thank you very much for watching.